"'Twas the day before Christmas, and all through the mall, not a shopper was strolling through its great hall. The former stores had been shuttered with care. Open stores were rarer than rare. The rumors were true, or so it was said, that Phillipsburg Mall was deader than dead. This mall's security has such a bad rap, but still I decided to walk the full lap. Down on the floor, the water did splatter. I looked up to the roof to see what was the matter. The skylight above had a gaping huge gash. I jumped far away before water could splash. I ran to the fireplace in hopes I would find that jolly red man who's laughing and kind. But what to my wondering eyes did appear? Nothing. St. Nick has stopped coming here. The mall's center square was empty and sick. I turned and left it behind really quick. Surely it couldn't all be this lame. But wherever I looked, I saw more of the same. Many stores left would soon have to close. Verizon GameStop and maybe Black Rose. Weight Watchers, T-Mobile, Asian Gifts and all. Run away, run away, run away from this mall. I continued my quest, all sneaky and sly, though I found myself wondering why. The mall was so sad, all empty and blue. Where the shoppers had gone, I hadn't a clue. A few drifted by, alone and aloof, but most disappeared in a flash and a poof. Still there were some brave souls to be found. Most were shopping at You Spin Me Round. Through the hallway I continued, alone and on foot, with this mall collapse into a pile of soot. Finally, I got all the way to the back, and that's when my sanity started to crack. These paintings were likely meant to be cheery, but they left me frightened and so very leery. Who dreamt them up? I'm afraid to know. A bad omen, I thought. It's time to go. But a towering monster showed me his teeth. I feared the harm he could bequeath. There was no food here to fill up his belly, just dark old stores that were moldy and smelly. I gazed to the back, saw glowing eyes on a shelf, and decided it was time that I save myself. I stumbled and turned around with a jerk, knowing this mall was no safe place to lurk. Its abandoned stores filled me with dread. I had to escape to clear my head. This empty dead mall has been dealt many blows, the time will soon come when it has to close. The thought of it gone makes some bristle. Everyone out, they'll cry with a shriek of a whistle. Then they will come to tear down this blight. Farewell, Peaberg Mall. You put up a good fight.